Javante Tank Davis is in the box of headlines again and under fire now because of a recent comment he made in reply to, uh, uh, I guess you could call him a boxing fan. Uh, the, the, the boxing fan was critical of Tank's next fight, which is re- with Lamont Roach. And plenty of people are, were, <laughs> are very upset with this fight because, you know, we see Tank Davis. We see the potential in him. You know, I mean, we, we think he's a, a, a excellent fighter, but we don't want to see him fight a Lamont Roach. And that's like a step backwards almost. You know, no, there's no almost. It is a step backwards. A guy with tank skill set should not be fighting Lamont Roach when there's guys in his division. This is this is my argument. This is what I've been saying for a couple of weeks. And all I've been getting is all these tank bots trying to attack me and, and, and make excuses or, and, and say tank. This is a good fight for Tang and, and, and Lamont Roach stand a chance. And then I'm like, okay, well, sure. I got you. So the fan pretty much says, um, he says to Tank, you know, he says, he and he tagged him. He tweeted him. I mean, uh, he linked, he tagged him inside his comment, you know, on Twitter. He says, uh, you turn 30 years old in about two weeks and then and the motherfucker has the resume of a child. <laughs> you know, it's kind of hilarious, man, that the dude says that. And uh, he got a rather um, snappy response from Tank Davis, man. You know, but um, as far as the comment that the dude made, um, I would agree on, on from a fan's perspective, he's right. Uh, uh, Tank Davis resume is not the strongest. I, I mean, if it was, uh, Tank would have defended himself in, in his reply. He didn't say anything about his resume. So, in my opinion, uh, Tank understands that his resume could be much better than what it is at his age. Absolutely agree. And the fan has his right to voice his opinion as a fan of the sport. Okay, because the same people like Tank fans don't like people talking about Tank. But it's it, it's strange because tank fans are also critical of other fighters. So you you know you guys are the only ones that can talk about other boxers, but nobody can talk about your favorite boxer. That's not the way to go. And tank's reply was, "Now let's talk about how you finish school and all that for you to work for somebody, and now they dictate when you wake up and go to sleep. Laugh out loud. I'll pick my life over your life any day, loser. Now." Uh, Tank is coming under fire for his reply and people are saying he pretty much, you know, he's, he's shitting on the fans. He's alienating his fan base doing that because most people have a boss. Most people work for somebody else. All right. So I will give you all my take and real quick you know, how I feel about what Tank said his reply. Uh, do I think it was disrespectful to the fans? Uh I feel two ways about that. Uh, on one hand, uh, he kind of do. He kind of. He didn't do it. He, he he didn't say anything is worse. I think what Shakur said, when Shakur be like fuck the feds, I think that's worse than what Tate said. You know, Tate just Tate didn't even curse in this uh, in this passage. It is it is a reply by the way, All right? And that was kind of light for Tate, bro. <laughs> and do we know if this guy finished school? No, we you know probably did, probably did. But Tank was just getting his get back, man. I can't really be mad at it, man. I'll be real with y'all. I can't really be mad at it. And as far as the comment itself, man, it, it's it's true, man. Like, like bro, like nobody would have wake up and work for somebody else, bro. Like nobody would have get up and punch a clock for somebody else. That's the most miserable. Like, listen, I. I I'm a big advocate of, of people finding their own way, bro. And I know everybody can't find their own way and can't be blessed, you know. Uh, but 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 here's the thing. I mean, who wouldn't want to take David's life, man? Besides the boxing, right? You know, you don't want to get pushed in the head. But he found his lane. You know what I mean? And he in, in his own way, that's a blessing because many people will never ever get a chance to see. The type of financial gains that 
Javante Davis has seen. You know, and I I hundred percent agree. You know, uh, if you can, it it would be great for everybody to be their old boss, bro. But everybody can't be in reality. Everybody's not gonna be able to be their old boss because most people don't have the desire to be their old boss. You know, so uh, the part where he says, you know, waking up to go to work for somebody. Yeah, that's a miserable life, bro. You know, you got to punch a clock when somebody tell you to punch a clock. You got to take a break when somebody else tell you to take a break. You got to take a vacation when somebody else tell you to take a vacation. That is that is slavery, bro. It doesn't matter if you make uh, 20000 a year or 200000 a year. You still are under somebody's thumb and they get to tell you when to take vacations. And it's strange because the boss... That's telling you when you can take vacations. He don't have to tell you nothing. He'll tell nobody nothing. He just take vacations whenever he feel like it. All right? So that's a boss. Understandable. So well, that aspect, 100,000% agree with Javante Davis. And to be honest, the, the fan is criticizing Tank's job. And all Tank really did was criticize his job or deemed to be job. So... If you're going to criticize Tate for having a weak resume, that's disrespecting Tate job. You got to be prepared for Tate to disrespect your 9 to 5 job. It, it's That's just the way it go, bro. Real shit. Real shit. Yo, Tate shouldn't be saying that about somebody 9 to 5 job. Well, see, yeah, everybody looking at everything differently. Like, if you look at it from Tate's POV, his point of view, bro, I get punched in the face for a living, bro. I could die in this ring. You know what I'm saying? So who are you to tell me how my resume is? If I could die in this fucking ring, I'm risking my life every day. And then from the, the fans' perspective, he's like, yo, bro, you don't know how hard it is getting up, punching the clock. You don't have to do that. I get up every day, busting my ass, you know, to put food on my family table. You know what I mean? And I'm struggling to do it. All these taxes coming on my check, and I got to pay all these bills, and I'm hardly left with anything afterwards. You know what I mean? So... You got to be understanding on both ends. You know what I mean? And at the same time, um, you be like, well, Tank, nobody told you to get punched in the face for a living. You know, you, you can go ahead and, and, and go back to school and get your degree and or whatever it is. Or go, you can just sell, create a clover, clover line and sit down. You don't got a box no more. And nobody told that guy to be, you know, to get, if he has a nine to five, assuming. Um, nobody told him to go get down to five. You know, go go figure it out for yourself. Go go figure out a way how to hustle, make a business, so you ain't got to be struggling. So, you look at it from both ways. And Tank is not wrong, bro. Tank is not wrong in this. I know a lot of people go, yo, you, you, you can't say that about the fans. Well, yeah, you know, hey, listen, man. If you can, if you can say it, you got to be able. If you can dish it, you got to be able to take it, bro. Just my take on it. Anyway, this your boy Rebel Like Boxing. Catch y'all in the next one. I'm off this.